us and uh, we'll see about making these into a beautiful meal. Italian sausage, we got kitchen sink potatoes, it's got everything but the kitchen sink in there. A beautiful uh, painting of ketchup that my baby did for us, and some over easy eggs. Good uh, art. It is artistic. Nice little bushcraft breakfast. Give it a taste test. What do you think, baby? Everything that we bought in the store. Yeah, nothing foraged here, but it's still bushcraft because we're out here in nature. Exactly. I gotta say, uh, if there's one thing that Americans do right, it's breakfast. I thought you were gonna say ketchup. It's ketchup. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, we're gonna finish this up, then we're going trout fishing. So this is the setup we're using, super simple, just a little split shot and then size 6 hook with a piece of worm on it, no float or uh, bobber or anything like that, we just toss it up, let it ride and bump down in the current and then we feel a couple of little hits and boom, set the hook and bring them in, it seems to work pretty well. I swear for the life of me, I just cannot get a shot of actually catching fish. They're definitely not huge, but this is a very small stream. It's about as big as they get in here. Bottom line is there's no size limit in this stream, and the reason for that is it's a completely sustainable population, so any size goes. We're just allowed five fish per day. So you saw the video where we made the glass bladed hafted bifaces or, or knives. Today we're gonna give that glass knife blade a test and clean some fish. Let's see if we can actually do this. Definitely not as sharp as Ew. a regular knife, but it sure seems to be working. 
So make one cut from the vent all the way up to here. Make a cut on both sides of, I don't know what you call it, the chin, I suppose, right there. We turned around, reach down in here, grab a hold, pull back the head, and pull out all the guts, as well as the two pectoral fins. In some states it's illegal to throw that in the water. In California that's not the case, but just make sure that you know your local regulations. And we also have the bloodline down here. That's just uh, right along the spine there. And we'll just take our thumb and just run that out. And then give it a rinse. There you have it. Totally clean, ready for the skillet, and uh, yeah, glass bladed knife sure seems to work. I mean, it is pretty cool that you can get it to work. Yeah, and then it was free. I mean, it's just a piece of glass stick, some tule, glued together with some pine pitch. It's pretty basic. It works. Come on, buddy. Ah, there we go. some old bay on top of the cheese once it's done. Mmm. Like scoop the cheese out and throw it on there? No. Just open the belly and mm -hmm. just pour some. Sure. Now for the taste test. Some fresh caught trout stuffed with brie cheese and shallots and yams and potatoes. Mm -hmm. You like your yams and potatoes? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, the meat is just falling off the bone, skin is nice and crunchy, you can already tell, give this a try. Oh yeah, mmm. The shallots. The shallots, yeah. Oh that's so good. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's perfect. Oh, comb off the bone. There you go. Perfect. Some shallots and cheese. Oh my goodness. Look at this ooey gooey cheese, shallots, fresh trout. Oh my goodness. 
get all that together. Look at that. Mmm. I like it, baby. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Side one done. Side two just beginning. This idea of stuffing fish with cheese. Something that Diane suggested well, made me laugh because something that my dad used to do for us when we would go hunting and catch trout midday. Mm. God, that's good. Only we always did it with pepper jack cheese and onions. And this time we happened to have some brie and some bread for a snack. We had some shallots. And I gotta say, this is bomb. <laughs> and the yams and potatoes turned out really good too. Mm -hmm. Threw some onion in there, Old Bay, salt, pepper, paprika, a little cumin. You know, the basics. It's delicious. <sighs> it's just a shame about the view. <laughs> Kevin's restaurant. Exclusive seating. <laughs>